another one here. Uh, I'm on my way to mom's house to do a home away from home uh, uh, tutorial on doing a, oh God, of doing a um, oil change. I'm, I'm calling it home away from home because if I'm at home, I can use all the right stuff. Um, really the only right stuff you really need uh, you can use your, you know, your, you know, you can use your can in oil filter and you can use your high-end full, you know, synthetic, you know, oil. But, and you can use your little tire, tire lift in the back. What the hell? And, um, the thing about it is that I'm going to show how you do it with um, with only using you know your basic basic stuff that you could just walk into any uh, auto parts store and go get oh my god we're going to speed of smell right now but you can you can go into any auto parts store and get your basic stuff that you need without having to go and go to like your local motorcycle dealer to go get anything you can just go and get your basic stuff and also how to change your oil without having your a tire a rear tire uh, stand. So, but while I'm on the subject, I want to talk about uh, oil changes in general. I'm gonna go well. Uh, what the hell? I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and go the long way. But uh, I'll make the uh, I want to talk about oil changing. Uh, everyone knows that you need to have your oil changed every three to four thousand miles um this these numbers i need to wash my bike too i might do that while i'm there uh the common i left my charger i'm sorry add is like really bad right now but um what was i talking about oil change oh yeah it's a that's a common mis common misunderstood interval um when you're told by any mechanic, okay, change your oil every three, four thousand miles or every three or four months, okay? Just like if you go get a warranty and it says every 30,000 miles or every three years, it's, it, some people still misunderstand that uh, that doesn't mean you can either do 33,000 or 3,000 years. I mean, three years. 3,000 years. <laughs> no, it's not either or. It's, I mean, it's it's not either or you you can only you can, it only goes by whichever one comes first if three years come by all right your warranty's up if 33,000 miles go by it's up just like with your oil change whichever one comes first three or four thousand miles or three or four months whichever one comes first you do an oil change even then you don't go by three four thousand miles if you drive differently all right like if you do a three or four thousand mile oil change, that is somebody that drives in normal traffic at normal speeds on normal intervals. Okay. Now, if you if you do stop and go traffic, your 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 vehicle spends a lot of its time idling. What the hell? But it, your vehicle spends most of its time idling, high speeds, high temperatures. Then, uh, ooh, I think I got that wood in my mouth. Then you need to have sooner intervals, like 1,500 every 1,500 miles. Now, obviously, doing it every 1,500 miles is going to increase, you know, how much it's going to cost. Because if you use synthetic oils, you know, it's going to it's going to raise your bill. But it's the, it's the price you have to pay to keep your vehicle, you know, healthy. Because I mean, also. It's a common misunderstanding that vehicles have to have that interval. They don't. Not every vehicle is made the same way. My uh, my truck is a diesel. It has a 12 quart. Uh, it has a 12 quart belly. I'm pretty sure that Duramax right there has one too. A 12 quart belly. Uh, its oil change interval is every five to seventy-five hundred thousand miles. I mean, seventy-five hundred. Well, yeah. Uh, nah. Oh, say nah. 
Uh, it's got an oil change interval between 6,000 and 7,500 miles. That's normal operation. That's not extreme operation, and that's not with you just leaving it parked most of the time. That's with normal operation. It's 7,500 miles. Also, okay, I was wondering what you were doing. Also, I don't know if anyone's ever seen a motor that's never had that. I've seen a car. I'm pretty there's a there's a link on YouTube of a car that got its oil change. I think it was a 2003 Impala that they had. And no, it wasn't a 2003. It was an 05 or an 06 Impala, or it was a Monte Carlo, one of the two. But anyway, uh, they was getting the oil change in 2009, and the oil hadn't got changed in that all that time. I mean, it might have had one or two oil changes at some point during its life, but what signal, Jesus! I want to be in the left lane anyway. Oh, don't do this, come on. Ugh. Hold on, okay, never mind, they got out, okay. There you go. I hate cars that hesitate getting into another lane, they ride the both lanes. But anyway, um, your normal interval for changing oil is once every three, four thousand miles. Or once every three or four months. If you, for any reason, don't change the oil, it comes out with, what oil tends, oil is petroleum. And it burns. Um, Anything that burns shrinks. However, what most people will do when they don't do that, they'll just add oil, add oil, add oil. And they'll think their car is burning oil. Uh, you know, it's burning oil. Now, this, that, well, that doesn't mean that it's burning oil, you know, storing it out of the exhaust. It could, your car can burn oil without ever even leaving the oil system. It can sit there and just become clunks of hard, Hard, well, on the, what would, what would, what, I guess it would be plastic since it's heating up, wouldn't it? It would come out as feeling like chunks of tar. That's what it would be, tar. It would come out as chunks of hard tar. And your car is trying to cycle this through your entire system. I, I don't know if anyone's ever seen the inside of a motor, but the oil passages for these cars and bikes are, 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 are are sometimes no bigger than a pencil, than a pencil diameter. And trying to cycle something that big, or maybe that big, into something that's about that big, uh, you're asking for it to clog. I mean, I've seen a car that was running, it was misfiring so bad that they thought they had like a major you know, they had like a major uh, overhaul, not overhaul, but a major tune-up. This car was well beyond tune-up. Um, there's a, there's another video on YouTube about, uh, a, there was an owner that had the same thing, never changed their oil. I mean, the oil was like tarred up so badly that it had a tar layer around everything that oil had to touch inside of the motor. And the same thing can happen to our bikes. It's, it's not a, it's not a specific to a car. Bikes do the same thing. I mean, the overheat and it, it, this is extremely bad for people that have a air-cooled bike. It's extremely, extremely bad because most of the time you don't. What the hell? Most of the time, yeah, this is an everyday thing for me. But uh, most of the time, when you're riding, you're you're riding like this here. You, you, I mean, as you can see, I have rarely been on the highway. I've only been on one highway. Now I'm just on roads. That's all I'm on right now. And that's not a this 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 is not enough. This is not enough to keep. Uh, my bike cool. It's not enough. It's enough to keep it from overheating, but it's not enough to keep it, you know, cool. 
It's it, 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 my bike's liquid cool, and it's enough to keep it's enough to keep the fan from having to come on. If it's an air cooled bike, this is not enough to keep it from overheating. It's just enough to keep it cool. And I've seen bikes that have overheated so badly that it's thrown a rod out the side of the block. And and keep it, and that wasn't while it was running. That was just starting it back up after like it was running so hard and so hot that when he shut it off that I guess after leaving it alone for so long the, the oil got so hard so much tar like that when he got to start it uh because he had just put a brand new starter on the bike brand new starter so it's got plenty it had plenty plenty of its kick and I think it was an off the market one too and when he turned it over all you is a kick and it just literally blew. I mean, he needed a brand new motor. A brand new motor. There is this guy that, uh, he doesn't live in our apartment complex, but he uh, he's friends with the, uh, with the landlord that we have, or well, the manager that we have. And uh, he comes by, he, had a high, he has a Hibusa, and uh, he goes overseas, and he, he he's a soldier. And uh, what he didn't do is he didn't change his oil for a while. And why is the truck gone? But anyway, uh, he didn't change his oil for a while. And then also, oh, she was more than the grass. When he left it sitting, it, it got even harder. And I guess I'll take it back here. Then. And when he went to go start his bike, he threw, he didn't throw a rod. He threw, he threw the wrist the pin wrist on the um on the piston and then when it slung it it slung the piston so far up into the valve head he needed a new valve head a new piston a new rod because it stretched and everything i mean he practically killed that that bike just not changing the oil but i mean it's really really important for you to change your oil so she's looking at me like i'm crazy <laughs> but yeah i mean i'm gonna get ready to do the whole tutorial on how to do it home away from home. See you guys. We're all like this. We're all like this. That's how we